Hi, I'm Ellen Gormley and welcome back to my channel. Today you get to see me do something you don't usually get to see me do. Work with DK yarn and a smaller hook. So today we're doing this lovely wedding inspired design. I worked, thought maybe I would play with it with a worsted weight white yarn, but I just found it bulky. And so really the better yarn for this pattern in my opinion, is a smaller DK wool. This is a superwash wool, Rowan Pure Wool Superwash DK in a blush pink color. I don't know the name of the color, <clears throat> but I've grabbed a size G hook and let's get started on this pattern. <laughs> As usual, Theo is uh, here and we'll see if he steals some of my pins, but he is here with me today. So we're going to chain a multiple of 11. See, there he goes stealing a pin. <laughs> Maybe this wasn't such a good idea. For this one, I have chained 33. I'm going to do 22 for our swatch on camera. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. So in the uh, fifth chain from the hook, one, two, three, four, five, we're going to double crochet in the back ridge, back bar, back bump. Then we will chain three, one, two, three, skip three chains, one, two, three. And in the next four, chains, we will single crochet, chain three. That's one. This makes two, one, two, three. Again, in the for the third occurrence, one, two, three, and the fourth occurrence in the last of the four chains where we do this one, two, three, finishing the repeat. So we have this little bubbly three petal item here, and that matches down here, these one, two, three petals. Okay, now for the other half of this pattern, we're gonna chain, uh, skip three, one, two, three, and place a V stitch. In this case, the V stitch is a double crochet. Chain two, double crochet. I hope that while we're crocheting along, you like and subscribe to this channel. One, two, three. We're going to skip one, two, three, single crochet in the next stitch, chain one, two, three, single crochet in the next chain, chain one, and finish with a half double crochet in the final, final chain of that foundation. And here we have the completed row one. So the row is made up of these little cluster flowery looking things, which is what you can also see here, and V stitches. Okay, we're making a much smaller piece so that we can get through a couple of rows faster. You know that I believe crochet is a relaxing and valuable use of our time. This is a really pretty quick pattern because it is so light and airy, and we're going to chain one, two, three, four for the beginning of every row. Double crochet in that first same stitch. Chain one, two, three, and we will, yes, skip all of this stuff and go right to the v-stitch so i was really inspired to think of a shawl pattern one two three so we're going to place three of those little flower things with chain one two three single crochet one two three all in the same v-stitch so that there is one two and now three petals in that v-stitch okay I was inspired by the idea of a wedding because um, my stepmother 
Glenda's niece is getting married this month and I was thinking about her and what would be lovely for her. So chain three. Now we're going to see this these three petal grouping. We're going to work in the middle one with a V stitch. And that's why I wanted to pick the white yarn for the wedding, but then I wasn't pleased with the bulkiness of the white yarn with this lovely delicate stitch pattern. And I found this beautiful blush pink and thought this would be a really good choice. Now, as we get to the end of the row and we have a left, a double crochet in the turning chain, we're going to single crochet in the double crochet. One, two, three. Now this is actually a chain four, so we're going to single crochet um, basically in that chain. It can be in that space. Chain one and half double crochet in the third chain of the beginning, chain four. So to show you on the um, pinned out swatch where you can see the stitches nice in. So looking at this more precisely, we now have done row one, the foundation, and then we turned and went back. And when you're looking at it from the back side, we did a little chain three space here, single crochet, chain one, and half double crochet. So the fall is really a perfect time to think about wedding accessories because I think a lot of people get engaged in the fall. We're gonna chain four and turn. And then you have plenty of time to make some wedding accessories in time for next spring's weddings. So we are now going to double crochet in the same stitch here and chain one, two, three. Skip the little petal and in the V stitch, we will do the three petals. So we will single crochet, chain three, four times. There's one. two, single crochet and chain three, one, two, three for the third time, single crochet and chain three for the fourth time in the V stitch. Okay, this is what it is looking like now. Lovely. I really enjoy this pattern. This yarn is, it's not maybe as soft as you might think, but there's something so delicate about it. I think it is going to block up beautifully, wonderfully, and very, very soft. So we are now V-stitching in the middle petal of the next petal grouping. V-stitches, double crochet, chain two, double crochet in the same spot. Chain one, two, three. And we get over here to the end. We're skipping this petal. And then here we're going to do the same thing we did before. Single crochet in the double. One, two, three. Single crochet in that space in between the chain three space and the double just chain one this time, and then half double crochet in the third chain of the beginning, chain three. Okay, beautiful. And then this will block up, I think any kind of lace pattern, especially um, a animal fiber, natural fiber, really blocks beautifully well. So it looks a little bouncy right here. It looks a little crimped up, but when you block it, it's going to look gorgeous. So I'm going to keep right on going. So please let me know if you are have any weddings in your future. <laughs> if you are going to be making any wedding accessories, maybe to wear as a guest or to be a guest of honor or be in the wedding party. But that's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this lovely flowers wedding inspired lace pattern and I will see you next time.